ओम धना गणपति कुंभवामहे कवी कवी नाम I'd like to title this episode, Omni Ignatum Pro Magnifico. This is Latin for, the unknown is always magnificent. This is my life motto. I have let go of any fear-based thinking because I repeat this Latin saying to myself, Omni Ignatum Pro Magnifico. If I believe everything is always spectacular and splendid, then it is. Albert Einstein said there's only two ways to live. One, that nothing is a miracle, or two, that everything is a miracle. So I'm going to choose happiness and positivity because life is like a boomerang and whatever you let out is going to come back to you. We are each the architects of our own lives. You can design your dream life and it starts here. Your thoughts become your words, become your actions, become your consequences. It doesn't matter what you've done or chosen for yourself in the past. All that matters is the power of now. You can also look at the now, N-O-W, as never overwhelmed. Because when you stay in the present moment, you're never overwhelmed. It's only when you're in the past in your head or when you're in the future worrying. 95% of the things we worry about never even come to fruition anyway. It's just stories that we've made up in our minds. We each have the power to have positive thinking. I'm not saying you're never going to have a negative thought or think something nasty about someone, right? But you can let it go. You don't have to hold on to it. And also, forgive yourself. Because when you truly forgive yourself, you can forgive others. Because when you have that compassion within your heart, and I'm not saying that those acts that person did are forgivable, you forgive them because you deserve peace. Because holding on to anger, hate, and resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It only eats you alive. Here's the thing. We see things not as they are. We see things as we are. Everything is like a mirror verse. It is simply a reflection. And whatever you seek, ye shall find, right? So if I see love and beauty within me, I see love and beauty within everyone else because that's how I see myself. This is why self-care is so important because you cannot pour from an empty cup. You have to be full in order to give. A lot of us are running on E. We are very depleted. We give so much of ourselves, but there's not that much to give. This is why working out and making the right choices for ourselves are so important. Because when you take care of yourself, you can then take care of others. It's not being selfish, it's the ultimate selfless act. Let's talk about manifestation and manifesting our greatest desires and our highest potential and destiny. The first step, you have to believe it. Only when you believe it can it become your reality. After you believe it, then you visualize it. You set intentions. You set small daily goals that are going, that are action item steps that take you to where you want to be in life. You can be your own superhero. Whatever that hero looks like to you, that life is within your grasp. You just have to go for it. You have to let go of the fear. 
You have to ignore the critics and the naysayers and the people who can't tell you, who tell you you can't do it. Doesn't matter what they say. We beg women to love themselves. And then we tell the confident ones to sit their asses down. Let me give you a little example so you understand what I'm trying to say. Say I go to a dinner party and I take my best friend. There's six other women at the table. I introduce my best friend. I say, this is Chef Hilmia Maud. She is drop dead gorgeous and she looks like a Bollywood movie star every day of her life. Not only that, she's the most beautiful person from within. She's a kind, caring, loving, very talented chef. I get up and I walk away from the table. Everyone there goes, gee whiz, what a great gal. I want to be her best friend too. That was so sweet and kind of her. Okay, let's flip the script a little bit. Now Hilmi and I come to the table and I say, I'm Jess Archer. I'm beautiful, talented, intelligent. I'm an all around badass and I love myself. Now I get up and walk away from the table. Who does she think she is? Walking in here eating crackers like she owns the place. When you believe in yourself, when you let your light shine so bright, others can light their candle through you. We can lead by example and not opinion. So when you dig within and you let that superhero come out in you, you inspire your friends and family to be their own superhero too. The other night I was at an all women's Oscar Academy Award viewing party. And it was really disheartening because we sat around in a group and we picked each other apart. We picked apart the women who were accepting the awards. We said, I don't like the way she looks. I don't like her hair. I don't like her dress. I don't like this. I don't like that. She should have done this. I'm sorry. You're sitting in sweatpants on your couch while this woman just achieved the, the pinnacle of her career. Why don't we celebrate and congratulate each other? Because if you are sitting there picking this woman apart, what does your inner voice sound like? What are you really saying to yourself? Um. Happiness is a choice and happiness comes from within. It's scientifically proven that there are three things that bring happiness. The first one is close relationships with loved ones. The second one is community involvement and giving back. And the third one is personal growth and improvement. Those are all intrinsic internal factors that we can create. Smiling is contagious. It's really infectious. Better to be the one who smiled than the one who didn't smile back. We all want to smile, right? The more you travel, the more you see, the more you realize we all want the basic things. We all want to feel loved and happy. We don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another. Be kind whenever possible, and it is always possible. I get it, some people make it really challenging especially these days when things are so negative and hateful in this 24 hour news cycle. Garbage in, garbage out. The more of that you see, the angrier you become, the more bitter and despondent and hopeless you feel. Turn it off, go outside, play in the park, go for a walk with your friends, play with a dog, with a kid, a hula hoop. Let it all go. You know that when you smile, you are creating that positive space around you and you let it carry on. This is Jess Archer. Thanks for joining me in Archer's Galaxy. Hope to see you next week on the Houston Live TV Network. Da -da -da.